Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you a quick tip using Adobe Premiere Elements to speed up your editing process. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Travis and I love to film videos unboxing cool new gear that I use for filmmaking and photography. If I learn anything new in Adobe Premiere Elements, I'll usually make a tutorial and put it on the channel here. And if I have any DIY projects around the house, usually assembling IKEA furniture, I'll film those and throw them on the channel here too. And whenever I travel, I'm definitely going to vlog about it. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you head down below and hit that subscribe button. So in today's video, I want to show you how you can speed up your editing process using Adobe Premiere Elements 2019. So let's head into the program. Now that we're inside Adobe Premiere Elements, I have a file that I've been working on loaded, which has quite a few different videos in the file. So you can see here, we've got videos from a cell phone, videos from the 4K Nikon camera, and videos from the D5300. So we've got a lot of different file formats and different videos. And this guy here right now is at 26 minutes long. And if we look at our entire timeline, I actually started to render some of it and saw it was gonna take a while. So I thought this was the perfect example for this video. So a great way to speed up this rendering process, especially if you're only working on the first half of your file, is grab this little slider bar here and drag it over. So we're just gonna drag it to the first 10 minutes because that's all we wanna preview right now. We'll worry about the last 20 minutes of this video later. So we're just gonna click on render and you can see now, time is gonna be a lot faster. So we're about four minutes, 55 seconds, where before we were looking at, I think eight minutes, seven to eight minutes. So much, much faster when you're only obviously rendering half your timeline. Okay, so we're just gonna click cancel on that. When you wanna render your entire timeline, you take this little bar here, drag it right to the end, and now that is gonna render the entire timeline. So using this little slider here will save you a ton of time in your edits when you're rendering by not rendering the entire movie, just rendering the section that you're working on. So as you can see, by just simply dragging that slider bar across, you can drastically improve the time that it takes to render your project and just render the portion of the project that you're working on. So thanks for watching today. If you like this video, make sure you head down below, hit that like button. If you wanna see more videos like this one, smash that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy out there.